Welcome to our beautiful salvage channel. Today we are going to show you the process of creating our own junk box challenge where we take a box full of random junk and turn it into home decor. Make sure to stay tuned until the very end where we unveil pictures of the finished product. We hope you are inspired and have morning. fun watching. Good morning. We're here meeting at the outside of beautiful salvage boutique because we're going junking Yay! today. Yay for a little bit before we open. So we have a few garage sales that we want to hit and we're just waiting for Angie to pull in so we can go on a junkin' adventure. <laughs> There's a free box or free boxes or just like a pile of free stuff at the end of this driveway. So we're going to come up with a junk box challenge for ourselves. <laughs> Save this stuff from going to the dump. So we'll show you what it is. Okay, so there's a pile of random items. Bicycle basket. This cute little stool. I think I could actually use that in the shop when I'm painting. Um, so yeah, we'll come up with some stuff here. I'm Amy. I'm Angie. And I'm Julie. Welcome to the Beautiful Salvage Workshop. So today we're doing something a little different. We're doing our own junk box. The junk box that we found at the end of a driveway that has some really mm -hmm. cool stuff in it. Mm -hmm. um, so Yeah, I thought really this, this is what really grabbed my eye because someone came into the shop and said they were looking for one of these. So guess what? We get to do it. Bicycle baskets. Yeah. Always and wherever cool. you are, if you see it, we now have one. Um, what were we going to do with it, Amy? I forgot. So we are going to put, there's greenery in the box as well. So we are going to put this, these flowers in there and do a flower arrangement in the bicycle basket. It was pretty cool. We yeah. were really, I guarded the box too, so nobody else would think. Yeah, remember? she guarded the, not that she really needed to. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything was really cool at that time. I'm very dedicated. Then the next items, so, the guy at the sale said that these wheels came from a lawnmower deck and this stuff was just gonna go to the dump. Yeah. I'm going to take these old bags that I have and hang them like wall, like wall decor. And I have these glass, broken glass candle pedestals are from a candle pedestal that fell apart and I'm going to glue spray paint this with mirror spray paint so it looks like a mirror and then glue it on to the wheel so you'll see that as we progress so this is a cloche you may think it's a basket <laughs> but we thought that the, the shape was really cool and Amy has a pedestal for it and we're going to add it to the top of that are we painting it so I thought that it would look cool bleached. We're going to try like bleaching it so that it kind of gives it a weathered look. Sure. And then sand this yep. you can bottom. Use this on the top. Yep, put that on the top, the handle on the top. This thing, do you remember what I said for that? Well, we were going to paint it for sure. Yeah. And then you were going to put something on that. <laughs> She doesn't know. No, just kidding. You're right. I didn't know. She called me when I was I, sleep. she was sleeping, and I called her. So, <laughs> so this is a. It's going to be a picture ledge. So it's. It looks like oh, it was yes. a shelf or something before. We're just going to put wall attachments on the back, and then. Oh my goodness. So for those of you who can't hear us very well, we are working on getting microphones, so hopefully soon you'll be able to hear us a you little better. You might not want to hear me. And we'll try not to talk over each other, but we get excited sometimes. So. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's a picture ledge. I don't know, it's just a couple chunks of wood that was in, that was in the free box. Um, and then... Yeah, and then there was this vintage salt shaker. So cute. I love the color on that. Um, and this board with some nice graphics on it. We're going to attach that to the board and have some little flowers coming out of there. Hanging on the wall. This has something to do with fairies, right? Yeah. 
I, I think I remember that. We were going to make a fairy garden. Yep. So I have this old drawer that I found in a dump. We went, Julie found it oh, in a dumpster. Oh, I like that drawer. Julie went dumpster uh, diving, and then the trellis that came from the tree box is going to go inside that. Yep, and then we'll make a little fairy garden. Isn't it funny how things fit for us sometimes? Just made for it. You know, you just don't yep. know that that's going to happen. And I have these little houses. We might use that in the fairy garden. We'll use our creativity. We don't know exactly we have pots what we're doing. Yep. But, all right. Should we get Let's started? Get it. Sure. Ready to roll. Okay. All right. For the bicycle basket, Angie wrapped some floral foam with burlap and arranged and stuck the florals in. We later added a little sign to go in the basket and printed off a picture of a bicycle and a little saying and decoupaged it to a piece of scrap wood. There will be pictures of all the finished products at the end of the video, so stay tuned. The first step in the lawnmower pulley makeovers was to scrub and degrease and then we could clear coat them. To make the glass parts of the broken candle pedestal look like mirrors, I used Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect spray paint. It was pouring rain while we filmed this, so we had to spray our paint in the doorway under the eave. Later on during the video, you'll hear the pouring rain as we talk. I started off by gluing the old belts on the pulleys with the hot glue but later realized it didn't hold as well as I liked so I ended up using E6000 to glue the belts onto the pulleys and I also used E6000 to glue the mirrors to the middle. Julie decoupaged some sailboats to the center of the other three pulleys. I had some rope that would be the hangers and to cut the rope I tape where I want to cut and I use a saw. The tape prevents the rope from fraying, um, which is a handy little trick. It also helped when Julie came along and pulled the rope taut so it wasn't swaying while I was sawing. We wrapped some twine around the rope to make the loop and Julie hot glued the rope to the pulleys and put a little dab of hot glue between the twine at the top of the rope as well. We found the pictures of the sailboats on thegraphicsfairy.com, which is a great resource for old vintage pictures. For the basket cloche, I tried bleaching the basket to lighten it a little bit by spraying the bleach on the entire piece. It did lighten slightly, but not as much as I had hoped. I drilled a hole at the top of the basket and screwed a bolt through in order to attach the antique glass doorknob. For the base, I sanded the paint off and added white wax to it as well as the basket just to lighten things and make it have sort of a weathered look. For the picture ledge, it was super simple, just putting a few wall hangers on the back along with painting and waxing the piece. Julie worked on the salt shaker wall hanging. She drilled two holes to put the wire around the salt shaker and twisted on the back side and attached wire to the top of the piece so it could be hung up. She also added cute little yellow flowers to the salt shaker, which you'll see at the end of the video. To make the fairy garden, Angie painted the old sewing drawer in a Rust-Oleum Highlander blue and white waxed it. She also painted the birdhouse, and to make it look more like a fairy house, we covered the bird door with air dry clay cut out in the shape of a fairy door. After filming, I put an antique wax on the door to make it look more like wood. I also added a little sign made from a spoon that says fairies live here, which I think is kind of cute. All right, we are just about finished. <laughs> Who, wants to, to <laughs> Who wants to show their projects first? Bicycle basket with the florals and a little burlap. And then we're going to put a sign in there about loving bicycling or going bicycling. We're going to get a graphic to put in there. 
Amy did a lot, the rope work and made the ship pictures online. It turned out so cute. Just decoupage them on there and they'll hang so cute. Great nautical theme. Mm -hmm. So cute. And if your lawnmower breaks down, you can always grab one of the flywheels. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're from. They're from a lawnmower deck. And then with the other ones, they're kind of drying right now. I just glued them. But they have the mirror on there. And let me see if I can do this. So you hang like that, and there's a little mirror. Super cute. This cloche. So I sanded the bottom off of this board, and it's just nice and rustic looking with the cloche on top. And this is still drying, so it was bleached, and it will hopefully lighten up a little bit, and then I will put some white wax on it. And this is our little shelf. We did it kind of a turquoisey color, but we'll white wax that as well. That's not quite done yet. I have this, yep. All right, and that's how cute that turned out with the pretty yellow flowers for a nice pop of color. They fit right into the little holes for the salt shaker. And the fairy garden is kind of heavy because it's kind of rocks in there. Okay, I'm gonna show up close. Oh, it's so adorable. And this is the guest house. <laughs> for we the trolls. We were gonna they put, have to go there. <laughs> we were gonna put both of them in there, but it was too big to fit. So this is what we came up with. Super adorable. So if you like what you see today, a lot of this will be posted on our website, beautifulselfish.com, so you can shop there. But hopefully, most of all, you were inspired to create um, things for yourself. So um, thanks for watching.